Hello and welcome to City Skylines. So, I kind of did an oof and forgot to save, so I spent the last half hour redoing everything I did last time. Um, that means our population is actually slightly higher than before, because everything hasn't uh, left quite yet, but it's in the process. Uh, I didn't lose everything we did. Uh, the fixes to the subway and stuff stayed, so that must have auto-saved. But, um... Yeah, so thing number two is that a lot of you are telling me to just reconnect the city, but that's no fun. Like, if there's no challenge, what's the point of this? The point of this was to be a self-reliant city, and we are going to be a self-reliant city even if it means we have to take a little bit of a hit first. We've got money. We've got people. We have a whole city here ready. I think we're going to be fine. Uh, first things first, we're going to kill that because we killed that last time and that forced all the people to go into the trains which I think already is going to help us out immensely I think I think that was one of the largest problems we were having was the buses just weren't moving people fast enough but another thing we have to do is we just need to physically get more people um, and I think we can actually do that using more airports locating uh, located strategically across the city i'm thinking an airport or three should be put down in popular areas because like right here would be a great spot you can bring people to briarwood square concord heights over here we could have one for new yam in the corgi district um, we should be bringing people in in different locations and right here would actually be absolutely perfect so let's do it. We're going to have to rip down this tower, which we're going to place down right after so that we don't forget it. We've had enough disaster issues when not getting people to evacuate. Okay, so here we are. Look at all the trains. So many trains, it makes me very happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and Oh, no! I just almost forgot. See? Tall radio mast. We'll put one right here instead. See? I remembered. <laughs> that was a close one. Very close one. Um, and now we're just going to flatten this area. Which means we have to dump the soil somewhere, but you know, I'll dump it up here. Make this area a little bit flatter. Maybe we can put a city on there later. Or a district. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I think that looks good. If we can actually fit an airport there. Oh, we can. That is going to be beautiful. If we can actually get it just like that. Very heavy road. Slope too steep. How? It's so close. Darn it. Just expand this out a little bit. There we are. Okay, and now that that is set up, all we have to do is connect it to this road for the train station. So now people can go to the train station from the airport. But we can also connect it onto the highway. So now there is yet another way to get into the city. I think that by diversifying the areas where we can have people come in, we can manage to get more people and solve our issues with population. <clears throat> The question is, how much demand is there to enter the city? And will we actually get more planes if we have more options for them? Because it's very possible that that's just the maximum amount of planes we're ever going to get. And uh, these little ones are just going to detract from the big one. So it looks like the big one isn't even usually full. I mean, I guess it's always got a few coming in. So I have no real way of knowing. We can hope. It looks like they're always full, though. So maybe, maybe that'll be beneficial to us. Um, 
we'll see. We've still got a lot of people using this train station, which is great. Our population is still dropping, though. It's not like a fast drop, though. It's just steady. Uh, something I didn't do. Oh, yep. I did not actually place down this residential, which is going to be necessary to keep the Cloverleaf District alive. So we're going to do that very quickly. I see that thing that you guys are going to complain about in about three seconds. Give me one moment. Bam. Happy? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, so hopefully some uh, residential will pop up around here. And when it does, we will get a bit more industry running. Uh, now, Oil Hills, because I forgot the name of what it was before is growing because I last minute built it because you know it didn't save but it is back okay that's all connected together they shouldn't complain about that anymore but electricity is an issue charm is barking I'm gonna get to her in a second she really has no reason to be barking but she's a dog so she's gonna do it just to be annoying Bam! Okay, uh, let, let's... Ah, oh, shoot. Whoops. I was like one second too late for a lot of these buildings. Uh, we'll, we'll be right back after I get Charm. Okay, now that I have politely asked Charm to shut up, let's continue. How exciting. Okay, so we shouldn't be having blackouts anywhere. I don't know where that... Oh! Here we are, we actually do have quite a few planes coming through here. And I think that this is going to be our solution. Distributed, uh, <clears throat> distributed ways of getting in and out of the city through air. Well, space, because we're on a different planet. But I think that we can actually solve this problem. Now let's see if this is actually detracting from the other airport. No, it looks like we're still getting planes here. They don't have as many people. Shoot, is it? I can't tell. Yeah, these now don't have nearly as many people coming in. 76. I guess... I don't know if it's a problem. I don't see how spreading it out could hurt. It looks like it's just going to help with our traffic a bit. So I'm not going to worry about this right now. Where is this actually connected to? Probably somewhere pretty dumb. Uh, so instead we're going to... Oh, it's connected to New Yam. Okay, you know what? That's actually not bad. I'm fine with that. See, as long as we have a steady stream of transport that doesn't require people to use cars, I'm happy. And that's currently what we're pulling off with this uh, airport system. There is way too much air traffic. We are pulling in a lot of people. Um, between both of the airports, we're going to have to really carefully micromanage how people are coming into the city. We're still having a drop in population. Um, I'm a little bit worried about that, but... Oh, did I actually set this to oil? No, I did not. What a meme. Um, bam, it's now oil. If we can get the oil industry and stuff working quickly, that would be preferable. <laughs> this poor, poor long road. <laughs> um, we'll hope that it works well. We've got a lot of water moving. We've always had a lot of water moving, but it's just so much water. Thankfully, we take advantage of it for our power. Look at that. Still 1,600 megawatts coming in. The damn district, after being absolutely destroyed, um, you really can't tell anymore. It is completely rebuilt after that disaster. P 
People are very happy, going on vacation, going to the casinos, staying in their hotels. I can't tell what that says. Ah, it's a casino! I knew it. Oh, and they're using their spaceships to travel around the city. So we are getting there. Um, the city is certainly growing. But how are we going to keep the population from steadily dropping like it has been? That's the question. <laughs> um, now, without the... Do we still have the thing where the cars are just popping up here? Or have they accepted that there's just no way? They have accepted it. They've accepted that there's no way to get in. Good. Very good. Okay, so it looks like we are pulling in a lot of- Oh! We've got some green. Have we balanced? Oh, that was pretty green for a second. That made me very happy. But no, it is once again dropping pretty quickly. These buildings have a lot of households, though. So it's crazy that the population is dropping so quickly, even with new parts of the city growing. It makes me question where the population is dropping at. Is it just everywhere? That seems to be going up. Looks like a Sterling Park in the really concentrated areas. It looks like this is where our problem is. It looks like people are moving out. Oh, we've actually got some green. I think we've done it. There we go. We've got about 300 people coming in per week. Which means that this industry is turning back on. We still have slight problems with raw materials. But if we don't... Oh, what just happened? Oh, the band did a bad job. Great. It looks like all of our logging industry is back up as well. How is our education at? Our education is fine. It looks like we don't have enough raw materials to run the Cloverleaf District. But that's fine because we are going to set them up with... A quick little <clears throat> cargo transport area, and what, where is the closest rail we can connect that to? That's going to be this one over here. Come on. Why? I think if I do this, yeah. I'm going to create another triangle because it makes it so that the trains can actually be useful. I don't want to be mean to the trains, but... You know what? If we're just sending cargo back and forth, where does this go? This goes into the main industrial area, so I don't even think we need a triangle there. So what we're going to do... Is we're gonna bring this across like this. I'm gonna bring it over here. No, no, it's time to buy that. Boop. And now we can cross this river, go around over another river. And this is going to be the challenging part. We should just make a tunnel. Through this entire mountain. Which is probably really expensive. And I'm probably completely... Oh yeah, that is really expensive. <laughs> I, I'm not really surprised. I mean, it's quite a big uh, job. It's actually just too steep, even with that going through. Oh, 
But we'll find a way to get it. We'll have to wrap it around. Slope too steep. It's still too steep. This is craziness. It was so easy to go through the first stretch, but now it's having trouble. There we go. And now we can bring it over to here. And out of the ground into there. Look at that. It goes through the entire mountain. So exciting. It's a really, really steep incline. Um, yeah, that's pretty intense. And it kind of does this weird turn. Good enough. Uh, we can live with that. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some resources over to it. They are kind of lacking. I really don't want this entire area to shut down. But it looks like it's going to happen anyways. What materials do you need? I will I will import them from another planet if you just tell me. <laughs> they should have cargo planes. That should really be a thing. A star deck? Okay, this got my attention. What does this look like? 150,000. However, if we put it in the Mega District, it does make noise, but how much of the Mega District is... Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, maybe they won't like that. <laughs> I was gonna say, we could just put a Star Deck right here. <laughs> Have people come in from space. <laughs> that would have been nice. But I think that the International Station is actually better. It can take in so much. Oh, we're having trash issues. I talked about that a while ago, how we were amazingly not having any uh, trash problems. But you know what? Let's put a high-tech trash solution into the city. And then we won't have to ever worry about it again. <laughs> Hopefully. Do 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 Okay, so as we modernize and fix up our industry, we have to ask a few other questions. Like, what are we going to do once we fix this issue? I mean, we have a lot of people coming in. But what is our plan for the city? I mean, rapid growth and just making a massive city that covers literally everything is pretty cool, but... I'm going to start thinking of little goals for us for the next few episodes. Altogether, I think we have slowed down the uh, process that was slowly killing the city. It looks like the ore industry has taken nicely. That's good. How about the oil industry? Are they doing fine? It looks like we have a few oil uh, refineries and drills that are working and growing in size the point being we are actually going in the right direction still worried about my farm district over here they are having serious problems it doesn't look like we're getting anything through this cargo train terminal quite yet Is it the end of an era? <laughs> no. We're going to be fine. Um, we're handling this well. The amount of money we're making is dropping as the population drops. But it's very, very, very slow. Uh, we can definitely deal with it. As long as nothing really uh, shatters the city, 
within this amount of time, then we may have some problems. And I think that if the city were smaller, we wouldn't be having this problem anyways. I think it's just the city is so big, it's so challenging to get people here. I think if we really expanded our city, uh, or if we had a smaller city, this wouldn't be a problem. But, you know, that's just my opinion. I really want to put another thing down. I just don't know where to put it. Like, where where do a lot of people... A lot of people want to go to Sterling Park in this area. But there's no space for... I guess here? But that's kind of close to the international one. I don't know where we could send people in now. We could on top of this hill. But we don't really have the infrastructure to set. Oh, shoot. Not again. This area just burns down every day. When something like this happens, too, when we're in need of industry, it's really painful to watch because this knocks out, like, a lot of industry. Oh, stop burning. Step. Put out the fires. Oh man, this is really bad. We're having a lot of fire. A lot of fire. It seems to almost be under control. Oh, now they're having worker issues because they caught on fire. No, that's not why, but they are having worker issues. Uh, we can try to expand Concord Heights to deal with those worker issues. I don't know if it'll work, but might as well try. The problem is even if we keep adding homes, nobody says that people are actually gonna move into them. But there is a demand for pretty much everything in the city. So, hopefully that means that we will be safe if we just keep slowly expanding. Although it doesn't look like anyone's moving in. Oh boy. This is going to be a very interesting uh, course the series takes. <laughs> the planet is having issues surviving on its own. However, we've made it for the f months and months now. And nothing serious has occurred. I mean, the population is very slowly dropping. But our industry is on its feet. It hasn't dropped as much as I expected it to. It looks like these farmers are dealing with the situation. I mean, it's not good, but it's not horrible at the same time. Let's see how this is connected up. And let's see if we can get a triangle on there. See if that helps out. We're going to go ahead and do this. Why isn't that working at all? I'm very confused. Oh, because of the height difference. Oh, so this is like 60 meters up. If I do this, it works. And then if I do that, it's not pretty, but it'll work. Um, and it looks like we're actually sending out a little bit of freight. Let's follow this and see where it goes. locally made food it's going into the industrial district to be packaged in such oh maybe not we're going around 
Are we going to go to this? Yes. Sending out food. Let's follow this one milk truck and see where it goes. It's going to be taking a long journey. Going out onto the highway. Is it going to end up in a store at Sterling Park? It's going around the roundabout. And it looks like we are going into Sterling Park, but where? Oh, it went in a circle. Uh, maybe it was just dropping off a few shipments. Where is it going next? It may just be returning, honestly. Um, it went in a circle... We're chasing this guy down. I want to understand where our freight is going. And it's going up, over, through. Oh. I don't know where it's going. Is it going to another commercial area? It's taking a right. It's going down another highway. Oh, it may just be going right back to where it started. And it looks like it is. Here we are. And is it going to go back to that train station where it came from? It looks like it is. So, there's some more milk trucks, and that means that we are actually producing local food. Good. Um, and it is reaching the consumers, which is the really important thing. Having some trash issues, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Lots and lots of people are coming into the city. The question is, is it enough? Okay, looking back over here, it looks like a little bit of residential is actually building up, which makes me feel good. Um, <clears throat> they are getting households. It just doesn't seem to be reflecting the population. Odd. Once again, where are we losing people? <laughs> um, oh, geez. We don't have nearly enough workers. We have 65,000 out of the 87,000 we really do need. A thousand of our people are just tourists. We could solve some worker issues by killing some of the office areas within our cities. Especially places like Mulberry Heights, which are sapping up jobs uh, when we really don't need offices right now. So what we're going to do is Mulberry Heights, each building takes up, let's see how many jobs, 500 jobs in order to put relief on the rest of the city, we are going to actually rezone this. To lower density, industrial, which takes far fewer jobs and actually supplies materials to the city. And even though it's a little bit dirtier, it's kind of necessary now. Um, there's not much we can do if we don't have any materials. And so we are going to see the amount of jobs required by the city drop very quickly. And there it is. Dropping by 2,000... 
six thousand. As long as we can get those numbers to drop, we might be able to keep things under control. And you know what? We kind of need the industry anyways to make stuff, so this is probably a good thing to do. Um, oh, Ore Hills has completely shut down. <laughs> I was just talking about how well they were doing. That's disappointing. <laughs> Um, okay, so Mulberry Heights is now turning into an industrial center. Um, it looks like the Corgi District, I'm going to take away a bit of the office area and convert it into high-density residential to try to, once again, drop the amount of jobs taken up by office and increase the amount of workers in the city. It's going to be a slow and steady process of switching everything out, but hopefully it will be successful in bringing the city back to the great city it used to be. Pretty much we just gotta kinda, yeah, especially in the mega districts where each building is taking up 300, oh, that's a household, 300, 600 jobs. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to swap them into residential. We're going to make them do the exact opposite. Instead of giving jobs and using people, we're going to make them give people and use jobs. We just really need to drop the amount of jobs in the city. There's too much work and too little people. And now the amount of workers is at 60,000, while the amount of jobs is at 70,000, 69,000, 67,000, 66,000, 65,000. This means that more people can become workers, and we should be able to fix the job crisis, although the amount of... Uh, the pie chart has really changed now. We can see how we have really cut the office sector off. But I think that's one of the things that are just going to be necessary. And do we have any building? We do. We have a few buildings for steelworks and such coming back to life. The amount of jobs is now much lower and the workers are finding work because those numbers are ticking away. And I'm going to consider that pretty good. Hopefully that will get things where they need to be. Quite honestly, uh... The population is going up now, which makes me feel very good. But we are losing money. We are losing a lot of money. Uh, the offices made a lot of cash. And without them and without exporting our goods to the rest of the world, we're kind of in a money trap now. But that's okay. As long as the money is only dropping slowly, we can take care of it. And it looks like the population is actually consistently going up now. Can we see ourselves go back into the 130,000 population bracket? I am really hoping so. Uh, that would be very, very helpful. Yeah, it looks like we have some consistent growth. I think we may have just saved a lot of damage, and it looks like the oil industry is coming back too. Hopefully all of these industries come back to the point where we have jobs taken up by citizens. Producing some tax revenue, and as more people move in, we'll see that that weekly income is going up. I think we may have just thrown things back into the green. And we have. So, 
Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this awesome video. Well, I think it was. Um, because we actually solved our problems by the end. Right now we are actually experiencing some growth. To those of you who thought it couldn't be done, ha! Probably going to have the same issues next episode, but you know, we'll enjoy it while it lasts. And I will see you all next time. How many jobs does this one massive building take up? 700. Jeez. <laughs>